Meet OpenAI's brand new 20 billion parameter model, GPT OSS, released with open weights under Apache 2.0. I'm going to be using the 20 billion parameter version of the model, which runs on 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I'm using a MacBook M2 to run it. First, we're going to open up our terminal and run brew install Olama. I already had Olama installed, so this is just going to do an update for me. Once we have Olama installed, we're going to run Olama pull GPT OSS colon 20B for the 20 billion parameter model. Once we've pulled the open source model, we're now going to run it. Once it's running, you now have your own version of ChatGPT, but private and local. Let's give it a random question. I'm just going to put explain what most people still get wrong about AI tools and do it in one bold statement. The model is going to give you the chain of thought reasoning by default, so it doesn't just give you the answer, it walks you through how it thinks. After it's done with its chain of thought reasoning, it's going to give me my final output. Now here's where it can get really interesting with these models. The fact that it's private and local on your own device means you can turn off your internet connection and still have access to this model. So let's test that. I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi connection and give it a new prompt. What does no one tell you about when running large models locally? Make it brief. And as you can see, that's a 20 billion parameter model answering in seconds with zero internet, fully private, fully free, no tokens, and no rate limits. For creators or devs in startup companies, this changes everything. No more worrying about token caps or leaking sensitive data into the cloud. It's fast enough for real use, and the best part, it's a Apache 2.0 license. This means you can fine-tune it, integrate it, even deploy it in your own apps. If you need bigger, there's a 120 billion version if you've got an 80 gigabyte GPU. But 20 billion already smokes most of the open models and runs on consumer gear. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have also tried this new GPT model and what do you think about it.